Now, there was an easy calm at the House, uh, aka headquarters. AK chairman was facing a vote of no confidence by disgruntled regional heads who accused him of the long serving chairman of making unilateral decisions. The affiliates also questioned the end product of the Federation's constitution. But after several hours of closed door meeting, the proverbial white smoke bellowed from the boardroom as they announced a truce. Athletics Kenya has been one of the iconic sporting federations in Kenya and by extension, Africa. However, administrative squabbles threatened to tear the association apart. It was no longer at ease at the Riyadh House with regional heads raising questions over sections of the constitution and unilateral appointments. These appointments allegedly were made by Chairman Isaiah Kiplagat. And Wednesday's meeting had everything to do with Kiplagat's continued stay at Riyadh House. The affiliates wanted the chairman to accept their call for a special general meeting where the contents of the constitution, which they say was not what was passed before, going to press. The body language portrayed a different picture from what journalists who had come to the offices were finally told after the closed door meeting. All the things that you have been reading have been ironed out, if there were any. And therefore, we will continue to serve the federation the way we have been serving. One of the contentious issues was the constitution. If anybody, particularly all the members, all the stakeholders, sometimes they have issues, they might look at the constitution and say maybe there's an issue here and there. They have asked them to give us their suggestions on which areas they feel need to be attended to. We have set it down and we have agreed on everything, so now those kind of uh, issues, we have buried them. During the meeting, they resolved that all the Athletic Scanner members and the executive will hold a two-day strategic meeting on the 25th of this month as they finalize on their calendar of events. For KTN Sports today, I'm Hassan Juma.